not for me to tell people what to do. It's for me to point out the consequences of sitting on your ass, letting a handful of psychopaths and idiots, because that's the dynamic, destroy your future, destroy your livelihood, destroy your kid's future and your grandkid's future. You go on sitting on your ass, and that is an absolute gimme. To lose. What is there to lose? Most people have lost everything anyway. So what you got to lose? To lose. To lose. What are you going to do? There's nowhere to run. So you stand up. We're not in this. You want me to do this? You want me to do that? Well, I ain't doing it. Nowhere to run. What are you going to do? Lockdown? Are you just going to take it? Lockdown? You're going to let the tiny few do this to you? I'm not having it. Lockdown? Or are you going to say, I'm not having it? It's about control. And it's about a control agenda that goes back ridiculous amounts of time. We got into this frickin' mess through acquiescence to power. So if we got into this mess by acquiescing to the illusion of power, what's the frickin' answer? And then we'll see where the real power is. And it's not with the few. It had to get real bad before enough minds were focused on the fact that this world is not like they thought it was and it's not run by the forces they thought it was. So I see this not just as a danger, it's certainly that. They can't just wave away the idea that a few people are running the world to a very malevolent end because they're watching it unfold in front of their eye. This cult expresses its power by persuading the target population. There are a lot of people whose perceptions of the world will have changed to that illusion of power. We now have the chance to break the spell. We now have the chance to break the mind spell and see behind the curtain. And what we'll find is something that's not powerful at all once we stop acquiescing to it. That spell has been broken. This cult has broken cover. It's walked into the room where we can see it. And you know what's happened? The frickin' door clicked behind it. Clicked. And I've seen what they do, and I've seen how they act, and I've seen their staggering, shocking levels of psychopathy. 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 I ain't come here to fail. The only way they can control humanity is to put humanity in a smaller box than they're in. And when humanity steps out of the box, once we open our eyes, we open our minds, we open our hearts, the walls of the prison just fade away. True. Power. What you're doing is you're tapping in to a level of consciousness that does not have something which is the very foundation of human control. control. What is there to fear? Nothing. When you lose fear, you do what you know to be right without asking the question which is 
fear asking the question. This is what I know I need to do. What are the consequences for me? It's asking about the consequences, which is fear asking the question, that leads to people not doing what they know to be right. Go beyond fear. Then you don't ask about the consequences. You just do what you know to be right. This cult is terrified. It's terrified of fearless people because fear is its currency of control. Currency of control. If people are not fearful, it has lost its currency of control. That's why I have more power than they have. Because you know something. They are consumed by fear. Humanity awakening to what the frickin' hell is really going on, and who is really in control. They can only control by their target population being in ignorance of that. Once we realise their game is over, put aside fear. Stop asking about consequences. See where the real power is, and it's not with these psychopaths. What are the consequences of me not taking the shit anymore? What are the consequences of me taking it? The consequences of taking it are infinitely greater than not taking it. When people let go of fear, what can stop you, control you? Impose its will upon you now. It's done through fear, so bring it on. Because they have to divide and rule us. Divide us on race and sexuality and political view. And if we could just find the peace to be at peace with others having a different view to us. Those fault lines would fall. We would start to see that whether you are a Jew or a Muslim or a transgender or Christian, black, white, these are just different experiences of the same. Infinite state of awareness. They're just different points of attention in the same state of awareness. Awareness. We are each other. The key is: you believe what you want to believe, but don't seek to impose it on anyone else. I don't care what people believe. I don't care what they think or what their views are. I only care when they seek to impose them on other people. No need for conflict. No need for fighting. Conflict comes, and divide and rule come, when each of those is trying to impose their belief on the others or me. That's when the conflict comes. For us to come together. Is people have to find peace in other people having different opinions because we are expressions of all that is, has been, and ever can be. And what, what, what am I saying when I say that? We are expressions of all possibility, all possibility. So what the hell are we doing, insisting that everyone shares a sense of the possible that 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 that, that we have? We're dealing with all possibility. We should be celebrating real diversity, not the freaking illusion of it. We should be ce- celebrating real diversity, celebrating the uniqueness and the spontaneity and the the different ways and angles of seeing everything. We should be celebrating that. So we learn from each other. But when you think I am right. What's it matter if you don't have freedom of speech? You're wrong. Everyone has a right to their opinion. Everyone has a right to their view. And there's no one who's all right, and there's no one who's all wrong. It's just a matter of degree. 
When we say that, we're at peace with it. We can disagree on the way we see the world and be in perfect harmony with each other. Because no matter what our labels and the divisions and the fault lines that are used to divide us, this cult has every single one of us in its gun sight. Can you not see that now? Hindus are locked down, Christians are locked down, Jews are locked down. Hello? Let this be the time when we see the fallacy and the farce of allowing ourselves to be divided and ruled by our beliefs and our belief in I am right and therefore no one else should be able to have a different opinion to me because that's how the cult works plays groups off against each other sets them at war with each other and if they just looked up they would realize that the same hands are holding all the strings while we fight down here come together, realize what's going on and where this is going, and cease to be divided and ruled. We're in this together. Do what you feel to be right. Do what you know to be right. And you will make a unique contribution, because that's what you are, a unique contribution to getting out of this. Acquiescence is not an option, because acquiescence is how we got here. You are all that is, has been, and ever can be. And all that power, and all that creativity, and all that insight, all that knowing is just waiting for you to open your mind to it, to break out of the bubble of the five sense illusion. And at that point, this world will change in ways that we couldn't imagine possible. I think that's exactly where we're gonna leave this today, David.